What's up everyone, check out this awesome SAS style promo animation, sleek, minimalistic and those glass morphic icons. So cool isn't it? Today I'm going to show you exactly how I built this in Adobe After Effects, exactly the breakdown of this animation. Now to make it super easy for you, I'm splitting this into two parts. In this video we will focus on animating the UI glass icons and the text. Then in episode 3 we will cover that killer card animation you see right here. So go ahead and grab the free project file from the link in the description. Ready to dive in? Let's get started. So first thing first, let's turn off all the layers and let's go with step by step for each layer. Now turn on the first layer which is our background layer. Now for the background, it is a complete plain solid layer. You can go with any color of the solid and on this solid layer, I have applied the gradient overlay effect and now just expand the gradient overlay effect and now you can see here just for the colors, let's click on edit gradient and now for the colors, I have used these three colors. The first and the last is the dark blue color and the middle one is the maybe a bright blue not too much a little bit different from the left and right corners something like this you can go with your own colors your own palette but i prefer these three colors for this composition okay hit okay now and now for the scale i have set the scale to 130 percent and for the style let's it's set to linear and on the angle i have animated the angle within expression and for the expression i have used a simple expression called time astray 20 and for the angle it is animating like this it's looking cool and gives the professional vibe to our simple and plain background so yeah this was our background made so yeah hit you to hide its properties now let's go to our next layer which is the second layer and the main text layer let's turn on our text layer first and now firstly let's for the text i have changed it to 3d and for the mode i have set to advanced 3d mode not classic 3d and first i have animated its animator so i have animated its opacity and blur by using the or adding the blur property so basically you have to go animate and just select the opacity and the blur property and just expand the animator and you can see the blur amount is 32 percent and the opacity set to zero percent and also i have added a property called color so just you have to go to property go to front and just go to color and select rgb and you will find these front color option and just you have to add your own color i have used this color only the cyan bright cyan color and now just in the expand the range selector option and just you have and i have animated the offset value from negative 100 to 100 so it comes like fits like this with the color tint effect something like this and again again go to advanced properties and just change the shape to ramp up increase the eye is high just play with the settings a is high is low value and you will find this type of final output to your text okay now the, the next process i have done is that the adding the position property so i have offset the text layer about two to three frames forward before the our uh, class morphic icons so firstly i have animated the z position from beginning to last so beginning value is negative 690 and at last it comes like this and at last it's hit to zero and just hit apply easy ease and adjust the speed graph editor just select these keyframes and you can see the speed graph something like this okay now our text is looking like this so yeah this was our how our text was made for this okay now let's go with our next process let's turn on our all the precoms first now for the precoms i have uh, used a simple script called liquid glass script because the uh, process of making a glass morphism effect is quite heavier and it takes a lot of time to make the liquid glass effect from scratch so i'm um, i will provide the link of this script in the description or in the project assets folder you can download it and use it from there because it, it is super easier to make the glass morphism effect whether you are using the rectangle or using the circle ellipse uh, it is super easy to make the glass morphism effect in just a seconds okay just use it okay so for the pngs i have made a separate comp for the glass ui so just double click to open any one of the precom now in in this precom just i have applied or maybe you can see the paid script which is liquid glass in the liquid glass script you can go to window and just you can find the free script or the liquid glass script here I just click on this liquid glass script and it will come like this panel in your timeline okay now for the size i have used the 500 by 500 pixels and just for the shape i have set the circle just hit create and your uh, ellipse will automatically will be added to your main comp okay and now for the png you can see the figma png i have used the random png figma icon in the center of the ellipse and just i have parented a track mat to this 
this liquid glass layer and inverted the mat so it, it, it should be visible to our layer now for the stroke effect just right click and just i have added the subtle stroke uh, with this color not too much purple and for the size let's it's set to 2 and for the position it's set to outside and for the blend mode it's set to color dodge okay so yeah that's how uh, i created the glass morphism ellipses for each icon you can see all the different icons here just you have to duplicate the precoms and one thing you have to keep in mind uh, whenever you duplicate the precom just duplicate from the project panel and double click to open it and change the different png from there you don't have to duplicate the precom from here unless you will change the png once and all your pngs will be changes at the same time okay so always duplicate the precom from the project panel not from the timeline panel okay this was the useful tip for you okay now for the animation i have a uh, simple uh, applied the null controller for this so let's quickly hide this keyframes now for the effect or animation for these uh, uh, glass morphism icons just uh, i have added a nail go to layer select new and just add the null object and make sure to make all the layers 3d uh, precom including the null layer and let's turn on this null layer and now for the animation just hit u to see its keyframe i have simply animated the z position from negative 2 to 3 5 at the beginning and to around 1 to 7 at at this point and just here it is the pause and again it goes to down out of the composition so i have animated the vertical position around here so it goes like this and also make sure when when you add the controller or null just parent all the layers including the text layer to this part one controller which is the null layer so it will control all the layers including the text okay so our animation will look like this and you can see the fade in effect so basically i have applied the opacity effect or opacity animation to our precoms so hit you to see one of the keyframes and you can see from 0 to 100 here is the opacity keyframes from 0 to 100 so it fades in like this and here it is a little pause over here and just it goes like this so again the opacity hits back to 0% at the end of the precomp okay and the same animation applied to all the precomps okay now for the you can see the shaky effect or wiggle effect to your griffin so basically i have uh, applied the wiggle expression to the position of each precomp so hit p to open the position property and just click on this uh, arrow drop down and just you can see the wiggle 1 comma 20 and and bracket close just apply the wiggle effect to this all these precoms to give it a cool wiggle effect just like the sass animation okay so our animation will look like this so already it's too smooth let's hit u to hide all the keyframes and just at last you have to add a motion blur for each layer including the text layer and our text animation or our sass style promo animation intro will look like this so yeah and now for the card animation after these go outside the precomp our card animation will enter like this and it goes like this and here it is change the text like awaiting confirmation something like this okay and it ends like this so we'll also cover that in the next episode so yeah that was our sas promo animation for now so at last let's see our final playback so yeah that was our cool animation and that is a wrap for part one you now know how to create these professional minimalistic ui elements with a stunning glass morphism effect in episode three we will complete the animation by adding the dynamic card components so stay tuned for that for more design tips project updates and a behind the scenes look at my work you can follow me on instagram and if you are finding these tutorials valuable and would like to offer a small support i invite you to join my patreon page for less than the price of a burger you can directly contribute to the creation of the future high quality content for this community thank you for your time i look forward to seeing you in the next tutorial